Hey YouTube, Mick from Sydney, Australia. Um, just want to make another quick video on on the subject of fire. So what I'm going to do now, I've shown you the the candles I've made. I'm actually going to use one of these candles and actually uh, boil some water in my, with my um, hobo stove setup. So I'll quickly show you how long it takes to, to boil up some water. Um, so there's a cup. Grab the candle, get that ready. Um, what I'll do, I'll use this one with the grill plate. So I'll just test the height. I might want to raise this a little bit higher. So I'll grab the other tin, put the lid on, and uh, yeah, raise it up a bit. Actually, I might grab that tin and even raise it up higher. Okay, so that's there. Uh, let me spark it up, find a match. Fan blown here, buddy. That's not lighting up, whatever that one is. Um, a little more catch the light. Alright, so that's four of my light there. Actually, let me turn this fan off. Okay, so I'll just uh, pour some water in the mug. Alright, so that's a good. I can't, can't tip that, but it's a good half a cup there. Grab the good old grill hobo stove. I've actually cut a hole in it this time. I'm not sure if you saw the other video. Um, I wasn't able to feed the fire, but let's just stick that on top there. Let's see the flames are coming out, so that's a nice height. And we'll stick it on. So let's see. Let just see the flame look like it went out, but no. All right. So let's see how long that takes to make a boil. Um, I'll quickly just show you. Uh, just been mucking around with my my EDC. Uh, so on my keys, what I've basically done is um, you all seen I carry a fire still with me, but I went to Super Cheap Auto the other day and just bought this for a dollar. Um, so basically, what I've done in here is um, basically just shoved some cotton wool balls in there and just grabbed an old an old uh, metal saw blade and uh, to enable the striker for this so I mean on my keys everyday carry I have means to basically make a fire part of the EDC as you all know is I carry the good old Leatherman wingman so um so yeah so a little addition alright so this how long has it been now? It's been 3 minutes 32 seconds. So uh, this may take a few minutes. Um, I don't have any video editing um, software or whatnot, so uh, please be patient with me. Um, while that's going, I might just uh, quickly show you um, my, new, my new scouting bag. Um, I've basically uh, shown you the uh, the day pack bag, the backpack. I've basically got rid of that. Um, I was noticing when I had stuff in there, the clips are really digging into my arms under here, uh, especially when I was wearing a singlet. So I've uh, dumped that idea and basically gone with my old World War II gas mask pouch, um, and you know it's it's very very comfortable actually. Sits there, straps, you know, are thickish, probably, probably about an inch, a little bit more. Um, yeah, it sits really well, doesn't bother me. I do have another strap that comes here where you can strap it around here to reduce the movement on you. But um, I will, I will go through this pack in more detail um, once this water is boiled. So. 
So yeah, I'll show you that. Um, it's basically, it's definitely got the five C's of survivability in there, but uh, there's probably six or seven. So yeah, I think just under ten um, items in this bag to uh, keep you alive if you did get stuck out in the elements for a day. Uh, but it's a nice comfy bag, and I bought this years ago, and I thought, you know, why not? It's very strong canvas material. It has a leather um, bottom there, so it is somewhat water resistant when you when you put it on the ground. <coughs> so, um, so yeah, I'll do a review on that shortly. Just by the way, this smells is some weird smell coming from this. I'm not sure if it's the uh, if it's these candles or the candle wicks. I mean, it wouldn't be the wax. Actually, I know what it is. It's the uh, it's the shoe polish, shoe polish tin. Um, I didn't actually clean all the shoe, shoe polish out of it properly, so um, I actually don't know if that's toxic or not. But um, but yeah, so I'm starting to get some bubbles in the water now. It's not a roaring fire um, bubble, but uh, there are bubbles forming on the bottom of the cup here. So I've been filming now six minutes and twenty four seconds. See, the fire is still burning quite high and quite well, so give another minute and uh, let's see how we go. Um, so yeah guys, so uh, just back on the tin here, um, for the life of me I've been trying to find our toy tins, for some reason I just can't find it in Sydney. Um, went to the local tobacconist and saw this tin there and uh, yeah, look, it looks similar to an um, Altoids tin. It feels strong. Um, I think it's as big as an Altoids tin. Maybe someone in America can tell me how what the dimensions of an Altoids tin is. Um, but you know, it fits everything in there. So um, I'm happy with that. Um, basically, cost me three dollars fifty to buy this with the mints. And if you can see, they friggin' expired. So I went to the guy yesterday and I go, look, you know, these mints have expired. So uh, he's basically sold this. Well, I bought another two, so he sold it to me for two bucks each. So, you know, I'll probably buy five of them for ten bucks and uh, just uh, sort some little kits out. Um, you know, one for my boy and girl, one for the wife, maybe one for my mate. Um, that's the cotton wool ball soaked in wax that I burnt before. So, again, that's reusable. So, I'll stick that back in the bag here. You know what, I'm not going to bore you guys too much, so I'll just um, grab this and show you. So basically, there are bubbles on the bottom there, so it's going to boil very shortly, so I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but um, yeah, I'll take this off now. Bit hot. So you can see the flames coming there, so, um, so yeah, so I think the, the uh, idea of... Uh, The wax is really is melted there now. It's bubbling, so um, that'll dry up again. And, uh, get some usage of that again, so uh, yeah, you don't spill the wax. All right, I'll let that dry up a bit before I take it off, and um, yeah, so I think that works pretty well. So thank you.